Saudis and instantly recognized them as one of the favorite additives to yogurt. We never get, so with three boys, whenever we go to the yogurt place, you know, they charge you per ounce. So my boys are taking these boba popping balls. Do you know what these are? Yeah. Look at these. These are these, you can pick one up there. These little guys that are here and uh, there's flavors inside and <laughs> you pop them in your mouth and there's a liquid inside. So you've made your own. Well, but the scientist in me says, so couldn't you make those? How do, how do they get the liquid inside here? See, if you pop one here like this, you watch, see how it oh, oozes sure everywhere. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So kind of a cool way to do it. So the secret, believe it or not, you won't, hey, I'm sorry for the reach. Uh, oh, the secret, go. believe it or not, is seaweed extract. This is it. So this is called sodium alginate. See the liquid that's here? Ooh, Hold yeah. out your hand. It's like a lotion, so it's not a, a solid at all. Rub it and see? Now you have seaweed Ooh, extract very nice. all over oh, your hands. Oh, that's lovely. And the burning sensation will go away quickly. So, and then it's and then into here, now this is the next piece. I've got pickle juice. So this powder here is called calcium chloride. It's the main ingredient in all the pickle juice. Ooh. So if you took the pickle juice, this would work. So seaweed extract, okay. pickle juice. Now, right. I just want to show you what this one looks like in here. You're not going to be able to see it well because it's invisible uh -huh. to that point there. You got right, it? Right. So now, but it's done. Watch this. Ready? There it oh. is. It instantly, instantly. Get to love that. Isn't that the greatest thing in the world? That's the this, best. It polymerizes immediately. There's a little science wow, there for you. Fast, Isn't that I cool? Have to say, yeah. So now the secret is this would taste horrible. There's no flavoring with it no at all. Right. So look at this. These now have been uh, done this way. So go ahead and squirt it in there okay. and see what happens. Perfect yeah. little. Oh, not, oh, yeah. not too if fast. You can do a uh, thing like this. If you do it. Oh, there you can see it. So you the see that one? That oh, there you go. In? So there it is. Perfect there. That's a nice one that's I'm sitting there as well. I'm trying to make perfect little. Bowl you are balls. making perfect little spheres. So now watch this. If you drip it like this, uh, they get perfect little spheres. A every little higher time. is better, huh? Yeah. And so now you put the flavoring inside there. It's cool from a science standpoint because a lot of kids have made uh, slime at school, but this is seaweed extract and the calcium chloride, and it literally cross-links, which just means that it forms that little <laughs> uh, uh, outside coating. So now if you scoop these up here, watch this nice little bronco colors. There you go. Oh, orange so and if you blue. Feel those here. Feel that. It's a solid on the outside and it's a liquid still on the inside oh, sure so if you were enough. to squeeze oh, it you get the liquid on the inside and of course oh, yeah, then you've mushy. got gummy worms right <laughs> and you can do whatever else you want to do but I thought it was what a great way and see you got to ruin yogurt by teaching some science at the same time. Kids looks will really, love really it. cool. And they can make it? any color that they want. And it's uh, all of a growing fad called molecular gastronomy. They, we're seeing people use liquid nitrogen to cook things now, you know, and uh, we're seeing people make ice cream with uh, uh, DeWalt drills and you know all the other things that kind of go in there. And uh, <laughs> so what a great way to be able to understand this little piece. And we'll put the information on the website.